Here we are. Max Foch, 6,309. Hold on, where do I look? Here or here? here, here look at the driver. Why you chose to use your platform to be a narcissistic little child. Fish, bash, bash. Let's take London. To the max. Am I the next mayor of London? No. No, I'm not. Did I achieve my two aims of beating fellow candidate Lawrence Fox and getting more young people to vote? Uh, that's more complicated. It's the final video of the series in which I, a YouTuber, run for the position of Mayor of London. All the other episodes are on the channel and they're numbered if you'd like to do some more perusing. Today I'm going to be showing you all sorts, not just licorice. So how about it's time for some cheesy music and a coming up montage. <clears throat> Very good. Coming up. Loza and I finally debate. Ooh, there it is, Lawrence. I wear a scarf with guinea pigs on it in front of the world's press, and I lift the curtain on the election results process, and find out what candidates do when they're all awkwardly in a room together, having just slagged each other off for the last six weeks. But first, let's jump straight into this by heading to the polling station, as it was time to vote. It's the largest of all days, heading to the polling station now. Do I think I've got a chance against Lawrence Fox? Absolutely not, but honestly, it's just the taking part that matters. The question is, am I going to tell the person at the polling station I'm a candidate? Absolutely. Off I am, exercising my democratic right to vote for myself in this election. Here we are. Have I brought my own pencil? Yes, I bloody have. Hello? Sorry? Your address. Um, if you need more ID, that's me on the ballot paper. The big one. Mayor of London. Next flash. Um, what a moment. I've only gone and done it. Here we go. Thumbs up. Having ticked my lovely box, there was about two days worth of waiting as they counted the votes. Now the results came in from different boroughs at different times, and so I kind of knew where I was standing before they announced the official results. But just like that, with the power of editing, they were all counted, and I was off to City Hall. You might be wondering what scarf I'm wearing. This is Martin the guinea pig, who belongs to Stevie White, because when I went on happy hour, I said, I'll wear anything you like on election results night. And so they've given me a guinea pig scarf. Did you wear Stevie's guinea pig centipede scarf? <laughs> I've, got, oh! I've got the scarf. Yeah, I've, if scarves are available. Well, that's, that's the scarf, I have it. Okay, yeah, I'll wear, I'll wear guinea pig, I'll wear Stevie's guinea pig uh, <laughs> scarf. I've said it now oh and it's got god. to happen. Oh my god. It's gonna be on the largest of all stages. We'd all been told to meet outside City Hall, and so there was a little bit of waiting to be done, which just gave the perfect opportunity for me to meet my fellow politicians in the flesh. And well, we were having a great time. Look at us, just politicians having a great time together. Nico was there. You doing good, my friend? Yeah, you doing well? I'm doing all right, I'm doing all right. The head of UKIP, Peter Gammons, was also there. I did, I did see it in West Central. I did have your trousers down. I did get more votes in West Central. Oh, yeah. But there was one man that I wanted to chat to. I think we all know who that was. Do we mind if we live stream this? Uh, well, I think we're about to go in. But, it'd be, you know, you come and done me, so, you know, do you mind if, if we of live course. stream this? Of that course, of course. <laughs> Why not? David. So, here we are, Max Of course, Fosh. of course, yes, Mr we're, Fox. We're at the end of our thing, how do you feel? Our thing? Is that what we're calling it now? Well, it's your thing, it's not my thing, really. So, what, what, what was this for you, then? Well, More I, than a thing? I did it because I'm concerned about young people being murdered by knives. Of course, so am I. And you did it to troll me. I didn't at all, so I got... how do you feel now that you've done your thing and another YouTuber seemingly has like totally outflanked you. Oh no that's that's absolutely wonderful to be honest Lawrence. Uh, he had ten times the following and I'm enjoying that you're 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 coming for me about this. Well, I'm not coming for you, I'm just saying to you, when you could have used your platform of course. to say to our mayor uh, children are being murdered on the streets of London. Why you chose to use your platform to be a narcissistic little child? Oh, there it is, Lawrence. Yeah. There it is. That's what and I think, Lawrence. Well, okay, that's that's totally. You're uh, a baby. Okay. Why are you such a baby? So now we can Why debate, don't Lawrence. You talk to children. So now we can. Parents who've been murdered. Lawrence, instead of trolling. Can I you. talk, Lawrence? Yeah, sure. Thank you so much, um, Lawrence. What I was doing, I uh, I tweeted multiple times for people not to vote for me to get young, more young people voting, which is very important because in this country we have very few people. People who are, uh, oh, that's cool, the I'm exempt badge. Oh, what's it made from? Cardboard. Yeah, professional. Um, and affordable, probably. Um, so, yeah, I wanted and to get. Sustainable. Probably not. 
Oddball. Yeah. Um, so uh, I was. Um, oh, Laurie thinks he's got one off on me there. One I nil. Don't think I've got one off on you. I'm saying to you, you started a whole mayoral campaign to dilute a vote just for your own narcissistic self-interest, and I am just going to you. <laughs> why didn't you care about the young children that are being murdered on our streets Lawrence. every single day? Lawrence again. All you did. Can I talk? Is that okay? Why didn't you do anything, Lawrence? Go in oh, okay. oh, so you won't hear my response. No, because I found so much fault. Oh, your eyes are so bullshit. Fault. I've got your response, come on then. Okay, so my response is that on numerous occasions I told people not to vote for me. I said that I'd be a terrible mayoral candidate. And I would have told this to Lawrence if he turned up to our debate. I can't um, see in Scotland. Can I talk please? Why are you in Scotland? It's a London mayoral run. <laughs> yeah, curse. 114 votes, mate. Well done, babe. Um, so basically, I want to get more young people to vote. Not for me. I said on numerous occasions, don't vote for me. I make a terrible mayor. Do you think you've done your YouTube career damage at this point? No, absolutely not. not. It's been wonderful. Has it? Yes. Because I noticed that whenever you encounter me and you try and wind me up, you get nothing. And then you don't even post a video, which is slightly cowardly. Well, Lawrence, you've had really quite a few drinks, so you have no idea what... This is my first thing of the night. Is it? God, so you seem pissed all the time then. That's wonderful. Are we going out home in no, not at all. Is that where we're going? We're going to be soon first. You look like a, some small baby, but I'm like, let's go. We're going ad hominem, we're going inside. Oh, we're going inside, not ad hominem. What a, what a famous last line. Guys, that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Now, if I may, for the first time on the channel, can I just be serious for one second? Um, Lawrence in that uh, didn't let me speak very often, but seemingly his angle was that I didn't care about knife crime in London. Knife crime is an incredibly complex issue and one that is incredibly tragic. It's an issue that I'm not going to pretend like I know anything about at all and is going to be best tackled by experts who are totally immersed in the communities in which knife crime is most prevalent. So yes, of course, more needs to be done about knife crime and I desperately hope the Mayor of London does more to tackle it. But Loza, we as privileged individuals should not be preaching about the complexities and the tragedies of this issue. Because mate, we both know the only issues we've had with knives is when we mix up the Stilton knife with the Brie knife. Okay? On with the video. It was time for the candidates and the world to find out the results. After weeks of campaigning, it all came down to this. Who was to win? We were all gathered inside City Hall and it gave me the opportunity to speak to some more candidates. Liberal Democrat Louisa Porritt, Marvel villain Brian Rose and Count Binface himself. Well, hold on, where do I look? Here or here? Uh, here look at the visor. Look at the visor. Uh, but croissants are under a pound. It's probably the most sensible policy I've seen in a long, long time. Well, thank you very much. I mean, it's mad, isn't it? It's just in inflation, or is it hyperinflation? But French breaded pastry snacks must be affordable. All of the candidates were then ushered into a small room to be told some instructions as to what was about to happen on stage. And as you can imagine, having 20 people who have been talking crap about each other for the last six weeks, it was quite awkward. <laughs> Thank God for Bin Face. <laughs> Up we went. The moment that mattered. And there I was, a YouTuber with two goals, to get more votes than Lawrence Fox and to encourage more young people to vote. With the votes, was I close? Not really. Max Fosh, independent. 6,309. Lawrence Fox, the Reclaim Party, 47,634. But there was still hope. Nico Milana, with 10 times my subscribers, 10 times my reach, maybe he would have a chance. Maybe. Lawrence Fox, the Reclaim Party, 47,634. Nico Omilana, Independent, 49,628. Nico had done it. Team YouTube had done it. Thank you, Nico, for finishing a job that I had started. And now for the winner. Who happened to the person on my right-hand side? I therefore declare Sadiq Aman Khan elected as the Mayor of London. <laughs> so, with many thanks to everybody, um, this event is now closed. Second last. At least YouTube beat Lawrence Fox, even if I couldn't. I came 19th place.
I got about five, six thousand votes. First preference votes, that isn't included second preference. When I told people not to vote for me. So this is Max Vosch now declaring that I am retiring from all forms of politics. Thank you for your time. But Max, what about that youth turnout? I'm so glad you asked. So, thank you for getting this far in the video. As a reward, I'd like to show you a little teaser for the next series I'm working on. And trust me, it's very much worth your while to watch this. Could be worth £10,000. I am currently somewhere in the mainland United Kingdom with a shovel. Why? Well, I'm burying £10,000 in cash for you to find. Ugh. Spending more money I don't have on a YouTube series. Ah, what would I do? Now, in regards to the youth turnout in this election, unfortunately, it takes quite a few weeks for the uh, data to come through. So I will be doing a video in the future about what the data suggests, as well as talking about the £10,000 deposit that I put in for the mayoral run, whether I made money, whether I lost money. Spoilers, I lost money. So all of that is to come. I have also put a link in the description for a charity called Key for Life if you feel like donating anything to help um, with the knife crime issue that we have in London. Hopefully you've enjoyed this series. Thank you very much for watching. And uh, we didn't quite take London to the max, but we were close. Fish, bash, bash. Let's take London to the max. I actually can't see anything about my glasses on.